The story of my weight starts when I was very young. I have been heavy my entire life. Um, I was always the big kid in school. When you're little and you don't fit into the school seat or you don't fit into the chair at the doctor's office and you know right away that you're different and that you just don't fit in this world. I actually started my first diet when I was uh, in grade six. Like most people that deal with weight issues, I've been on several different diets. Dieting for so long, I felt like I had tried everything. I did have periods where I had lost weight and had some success, but it always came back and came back with a vengeance and I was heavier than I had started. It's my opinion and observations in my own life that uh, diets don't work. Diet culture has told us that we are responsible and that we can fix this if we just try hard enough, if we just pay that next fee, if you just sign up for the next subscription, and it's madness. You know, I didn't like to eat in front of people. I had feeling of very little self-worth, and it really led to a very isolating life. I remember never being invited to the high school dance, never having a boyfriend through high school, all the things that as a teenager and as a child you just dream of and hope for just as a means of fitting in and always knowing that I would never have that. It got to the point where I uh, didn't want to take the kids to school, I didn't want to go grocery shopping, I didn't want to be out in public at all. My kids were missing out on a lot because their mom was too embarrassed to go out in public and that's that was my rock bottom. There was a moment in my life where I really decided I needed to show up for myself in a different way. I was honestly just exhausted from feeling like a failure. I've lost over 100 pounds. I've kept it off for three years, two, two or three years. And it's really interesting because uh, I'm still fat. People who knew me heavier will come up and say, you look, you look fantastic. And I see other people who didn't know me look at me like, what are they talking about? She's, she's fat. Why are you telling her she looks so good? And, and I find that really interesting because I still think I look good. I still think I've done a fantastic thing. So it, it's changed not who I am, but it's changed how I am able to interact with who I am and what I do. I think there's something to be said about the journey that I've gone on with my weight. It's actually empowered me to speak out and, and be the advocate that I am right now. The biggest change for me came when I realized that I'm allowed to take up space. I'm allowed to be here. Finding the right medical help and the right professionals that understand what you're going through is such a huge factor in tackling this, this problem. Meeting a medical professional who listened to my cry for help changed my life. I um, met a physician who got it and who understood it. That gave me hope. Up until then, I was just focusing on let's, let's just lose all this weight. And then he just said, let's get you healthier. Let's just get you healthier. So I found somebody that understood it. And that made all the difference.